Hey YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives and Lights with a flashlight from Uzi right, that takes two AA batteries. Now it comes with this convenient belt holster. Right, you got Velcro on the uh, retaining strap. It also comes with a lanyard, spare O-rings, and an extra tail switch assembly. That's what it looks like in the holster. Right, and this is a very cool tactical light from Uzi. Size comparison with a Through Night Archer 2A. This is a very strong competitor to the Archer 2A because they both use uh, the same batteries. The Uzi is slightly brighter, slightly shorter. Another size comparison uh, with a TN12, an 18650 flashlight. Now for 2A, you're going to give up a little brightness, but you get a lot more convenience. All right, the whole interface is with the tail switch. Now you can change modes either by clicking the tail switch or you can also half press the tail switch as I'm showing there. All right, it's got three brightness levels. If you twist the head assembly, you can switch it to its second mode cycle, all the special modes. All right, so the special modes are strobe and beacon right I think it has two beacon modes but in beacon mode it's going to just flash once every few seconds that allows it to be in beacon mode for a very long period of time if you needed to uh, signal for help and if you twist the head again it goes back to the first mode cycle okay at this time let's roll in real-world demo footage from the middle of the night enjoy on the front step, cycling through the modes with this Uzi uh, 500 max lumens flashlight. All right, that is the highest mode. Now let's go for a little walk just to show uh, the light lighting your path. Pretty good. We got some beam shots coming up. This is the highest mode. All right, and yeah, I mean, quite bright. Let's cycle through the modes. All right, there you just see it cycling through the uh, three brightness levels. Pretty cool for double A's. Strobe warning, there is a strobe demo coming up. Yeah, I like the strobe on this. It's supposed to be a tactical flashlight. Very disorienting, um, intimidating strobe. Okay, a longer range shot. This is from the second story window. Shining it down to where we were standing. That's where I was standing right there. Not bad. Not bad for a 2AA light. And it can even reach to those chairs. Right, so a very decent, very respectable tactical light. We are back. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Now about the batteries. To install or replace the batteries... You unscrew that tail assembly, that's what that looks like. Right, as I said, two AA batteries. I am using uh, Duracell Ion Core batteries. I will include a link where to get these. These are very good batteries. I've heard they're just end loops with a different wrapper, probably why they're so good. So I'll include a link for those. They are rechargeable too. All right, so overall, what do I think of this light? It's a great light because you can use plain old double A batteries and yet it's fairly powerful. 500 lumens maximum. Now there I'm showing it can tail stand as well. Now it is not going to be as bright as some of the lithium ion battery uh, flashlights like the 18650 lights which are usually around a thousand but 500 is plenty bright. And it's, it's often worth it for the convenience of those type of batteries. All right. I also really love that you can switch it to a second mode cycle where you have strobe at your fingertips. Uh, very important if you need that strobe, you know, for um, tactical purposes, let's say. And it has a very good strobe. I mean, it's a fast strobe. It's disorienting. Uh, I like this for the same reason I like that through night. So, definitely highly recommended. Good job by Uzi.